Let's go over a quick tutorial on how to create an Adobe Spark. You'll want to access Adobe Spark through ClassLink. In ClassLink, once you've entered your username and password, you should see an app on the top left-hand side for Adobe Spark. Should take just a second. Um, it's this app on the top left hand side with an S and a P for Spark. Now you may have to type in your email address one more time. Where it says teacher or student, log in with school account. You'll have to add in your email address school email address and you'll want to select company or school account. All right that was the hardest part. So now we um, should be able to access a bunch of different options for creating graphics. Today we want to create um, a collage. So we'll see our projects pop up here. Um, we have a few options, collage, web page, slideshow. Let's go with a collage for today. Now on your collage, um, you want it to look similar to an MSDS sheet. Let's skip this um, choose photos for now. When you select a size, you are going to select the poster size 11 by 17. Next. And what you'll see pop up on the right hand side are all of your options for creating your collage. So I recommend that you add um, your photo along with some sections there that describe you. So I'm going to go down um, to layouts. And in layouts, um, we're going to look at some different options. So these are just different ways to lay your collage out um, because it should have your picture on it. Um, I'm going to look for something that has one big space. Like this collage looks pretty good. Um, so I see this one big spot up here. That'd be a good place to add your photo. And all of these sections here could be for information about yourself that we're going to create like our MSDS sheet. Um, you could also add here um, text, photo, icons, logos. So if you want to add text to any of your boxes, um, you can start from scratch add your text, whatever you want to say. You can put your name there. And then we're going to take that text and you can modify it. You can uh, make it smaller or longer. Um, you can move it, put it in any of the boxes um, that you want. You can also change your color scheme as well. You have lots and lots of different options. But in the end, your collage should have your photo and a few different facts about yourself. When you are finished, you're going to click download and you're gonna save this as um, a PNG is perfectly fine. So you'll start your download and save it. And once your um, PNG is saved, you can send it to your teacher to complete today's assignment.